Hello YouTube, I'm Flying Dutchy and welcome back to the Otto Derp campaign, the Ottoman World Conquest. Let's unpause the game and uh, let's see Jerusalem. We have to go to this fort. We need more war score against uh, the Mamluks, so we can piece them out for what we want. Uh, mercenaries you also have to consolidate. Yeah. Oh, I did not saw that army actually. Attack it. Just attack it. You go here, you go there. And let's kill this one. Okay, Mali. Uh, see you next time and thank you for joining by again. Hopefully you understand the game a bit better. I think so. Ooh, stack wipe. Stack wipe of the enemy. That was really good. That was really good. Oh, and we need to declare on uh, Crimea very soon. How many percent are they now? 103 again. So I hope I can still do it. I'm going to send this army back. It's... Yeah, let's see it's Cairo indeed. I think that's good enough indeed, yeah, when we have that one. Ooh, their navy is attacking. Um, reinforce, please. Also with the heavy ships. We might lose some ships, but uh, we are going to win it. For sure. Yeah, the only thing we need is Cairo now. Uh, did we sink the whole fleet? No, but we did a good job. Go here. You go there and I will recruit some more mercenaries. We need more. Make a lot of money so we can afford it. What was that sound? Well, I don't know. Let's claim more of Venice, and Venice will also be the uh, next rival I will take. Oh, shoot. Go, 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 go. Uh, 
Religious uproar. According to the governor of Sinop, the citizens are in uproar because of our missionaries' complete lack of respect for any religious practice. Send some troops, we get unrest. Or we might get heretic separatists um, in Sinop, that's alright. And we are lucky. We don't get any of these. We cannot claim anything from you. Um, we could claim Corvu. You know, are still in the empire, I think. Yes, so we cannot attack them. Nexus, we can do Nexus as well, but I want one diplomat to uh, do things. Oh, that's all right. Go to a Cairo, that's the only thing we need, then we can peace out. And this army is going to, uh, the, to uh, Crimea. Actually, we should do it right now. Okay, Ragusa had to give one province, so we can still take two of them. They are allied with Milan, but Milan is uh, very small. Who are the electors? Bohemia, Brandenburg, Kalint... Okay, the normal ones. Just the last thing we need, guys, then we can finally peace out. I will keep looking for it. I think I will do it like this. Or should I take the coast? You could take Jerusalem, of course. Yeah, I should take Jerusalem. I will get an extra missionary, I think, when I do that. I think I will do it like this. You're gonna have a much easier time fighting cremate since you have tech 4 already. I will take all of the coast. And Jerusalem. Drinking my coffee uh, empty. There we go. Nice. Another conversion ready. Let's do the next one. You and the mercenaries. You are going to Crimea. Crimea is, uh, is level 4 as well. So we don't have any advantage. But uh, when we have tech 5 we do. Country before faith. 75% uh, chance we get loyal unbelievers, so we get spy offense or national spy defense minus 30. Or if we gain 10 prestige, then I will gain the 10 prestige. The nation claims on Maria. Yeah, Venice, you are going to die. I hate you, Venice. I hate you. Did I embark on all my rivals yet? Yes, we still need to, uh, to get Venice as a rival. Never mind that battle there. 
This is so annoying. They are recruiting mercenaries again and again and again. And I think I have to do the same. We are so rich, we can do this. We have uh, maybe 20, 20 uh, mercenaries or something. But uh, we can do it. We have the power to sustain such, and such a thing. This is real, really annoying. They are going to siege down everything back again. That is so annoying. So I have to leave uh, Cairo. Leave 9000 troops there. We have to defeat this army. Oh no. Shoot! Reinforce. We have no choice. Come on! Yes, we are rolling better. We should win this battle. We really should win this battle. Yeah, and we get reinforcements. So we are safe, luckily. No, we cannot uh, go further. We have to siege this one, uh, this fort first. Yeah. You could have given them the four maneuver leader, then they would have made it out in time. That's true. You were right. Mercenaries, go siege, please. We don't have a siege leader, unfortunately. Um, no. Military reforms. Uh, we could do infantry combat ability plus ten percent. Plus 5% and gallery combat ability plus 10% or galley combat 20%. Let's do the infantry combat ability. Spare diplomats again. Yeah, we claimed almost everything that we can take. Naxos is the next one. And I think we can take admin technology level 4. Yes, and I will do that before I spend everything on coring again. Because I really want my uh, admin idea to lower the coring cost. Corvo, we have Corvo. Uh, let's do Dalmatia. How is the aggressive expansion in the world? It is very low. Nice. We can do whatever we want.
and they are attacking again. The annoying Mamluks there. No, we still not can peace out for what we want, so we have to keep sieging. And we need more mercenaries, I can tell you that. Can I recruit them here? No, because they are overseas, so yeah, we have to give this to uh, Akkoyunlu first. Let's build six regiments there again and consolidate the mercenaries we have here. Denmark annexed Holstein. Yeah, that happens uh, most of the time. Is Sweden independent? No. Uh, I will happily gain the 50 admin points. Thank you very much. That is exactly what I want. The truth with Crimea expired. Yeah, but mine expired already, but their truce with me expired. That is why I get the message, I think. Yeah, I'm sure about that. And of course, Crimea is now allied with Karakoyunlu. So we will have a hard time. Very hard time. No, they still don't accept it. Come on guys, siege Ka Cairo now. 80%. No. They don't accept. Very soon we have tech 5. Hey, we are lucky. We got Cairo, so now we can take whatever we want. Uh, this will go to Ak Konyunlu, and we will take these five provinces together with Jerusalem. And that should give us an extra missionary, I think. And this will not count as overseas, right? It should be. Okay. Yeah, I would take Hama. Yeah, but uh, I would like to get all the coastal province so the Mamelucks don't get this uh, big navy again. I will take the coastal stuff. Connection to QQ provinces, that will be considered overseas. What? Connection to QQ provinces. I already have a connection here. No, this is not overseas, but that this will go to uh, to Akkoyunlu, Trapson. 
I will have this to my vessel. All of this. So I will not get a connection anything. It will be if you sail Trebizond to to uh, Akoyunlu. Yes. Erzurum needs to go to at which point I don't think he will be able to core behind it. Yeah, that's true. If you sail Trebizond you will be okay. Okay, I will do what I uh, was uh, wanting, what I want to do. Take a bit of money. Bye bye, Memlux. And because this is a colony, we get a minus 50% coring cost, right? And that is why we are doing this. It's a colony, it counts as a colony. Overseas provinces cannot have an autonomy lower than 75%. That is the, the thing that we have to deal with, right? That's not, uh, we cannot do anything about that. Venice, you're my rival. Extra missionary, conquest of Jerusalem. Yeah, but that doesn't matter because we are strong already, so. And I will sell traps on to you. Later you can annex AQ and make another vessel blocker. Don't forget about selling Trebizond, I'm doing right now. So the thing is, when I annex my vessel, and I cord all of this land, it will go away, this, uh, this modifier, minus 50%. But the autonomy can get to 0% again, so the land that I cord here, with a minus 50% modifier, is... Uh, will be very rich again when I annex my vessel. That's it, right? That's what uh, what we are doing. Yeah, that's a really good strategy. And we should guarantee the, uh, the Mamlux. <laughs> and do this trick again. Uh, guarantee, where are you? You cannot ally with a rival. Shit. We cannot do it. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, we cannot do it every time. <laughs> Lower that one. I think Persia is not a good vessel blocker because they have a lot of cores over there. But you should conquer all of Asia before annexing your vessel. Or create another vessel in between somewhere. Well, if I can feed this vessel a bit of land like this and conquer the rest for myself, then I'm keen with one vessel actually. Because very soon we get a lower coring cost. That is what, I, what I'm trying to do. Uh, yeah, let's get 100% autonomy here. That's unfortunate, but uh, I think we have to do that. I don't want to fight all these rebels again and again. Yeah, Afghanistan indeed.
What is our religious unity? 68? Well, that's not bad. So yeah, in the next war we will take the rest of uh, our mission. I could re uh, make... No, that's too late. In 69 I can only uh, replace the Mamluks as a, f as a rival. And the truce is over in four years later, so there's no need to do it. My first idea was human is a little to no rebels. That is true. That will be my third idea. I want a lower coring cost first. So we will we can conquer what we want and still keep uh, gaining points here. That's the idea. I think both ideas are the best ones for the Ottomans. Yeah, you can choose one of these, in my opinion. <sighs> I'm also thinking about attacking Naples. But yeah, then France will help, so that's no option. France, do you still... Shit. France has an heir. Damn it. No leader on the French throne for us, unfortunately. Okay, that will end this episode. Thank you for watching. Give you a like and subscribe. And I see you in the next part. Bye bye.